I'm going to show you some interesting use cases that use cheap models to achieve something interesting. I'm going to be using 2.0 Flash on Google Gemini just because we're doing a research task. You'll see here Brave Search and Fetch. These are the only two that you actually need. I'm going to put this on boomerang mode. So find a spa in Texas and try and find out as much information formation as possible. Use the fetch and brave MCP and then we'll see how it does. So this is what it found. Let's just press save here. You can definitely get more details I would say. This is just the first scrape. Let's see. Pretty good amount of information. It's less than the information here for sure. But yeah I mean this is still pretty good. Let's just say I need even more information than this. You're missing images and a lot of headers on the CSV I send you. So it's doing it again now. This time it should be extracting images as well, extracting other things too. This is limited to your imagination what you can do with this. So let me just give you a few other examples. Before you code anything, look up docs. If you have an error, look up docs. So you can start to build things that won't just have errors because it's using out of date documentation or information. My advice to you guys is look for models when they're free. So right now we have Optimus Alpha, which is completely free to use. This model is perfectly capable of doing the task that I just showed you. You could probably get away with DeepSeek R1 for this. Flash wasn't good enough in the end. It wasn't really working properly. 